Hey guys, Tarios here, and today me and Jeremy are playing Tropico 5. We just bought the game, and we don't know any of the mechanics of 5. And Jeremy doesn't know a whole lot about 4 either. But, uh, I've already created my dictator. I'm playing Adolfo Hitler, and he's playing Donato Knox. In an effort to improve the health of his subjects, His Majesty has issued a new decree. All citizens must eat at least one piece of fruit per day. To this end, all colonies are ordered to begin fruit production immediately. Apparently, I have an undergarment shortage. I got a fruit shortage. <laughs> Come over here, I need some fruits. <laughs> I need some beans. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Lucky for me, Jeremy doesn't know that uh, <laughs> this game's all about mandates. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, Governor. We need more scientists to think important thoughts and discover new... stuff! Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today. As Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. There's my nuke target right there. I'm moving up in the world. Oh my god, I'm having a baby. What? His Royal Majesty is eager to see his fruit care plan. President, as you know, it is your will alone that keeps Tropico together. Without you, the entire island would crumble to dust and be lost forever. As the air was born, all animals became quiet. 
A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went to the crib and bowed to the infant. At least, that is what we were right. Oh wow, we stuck on the air. I have an air to my throat. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go. Santiago Knox has been born! Teresa Hitler is really going woo. I'm gonna give her a fez. Anger me, I dare you. I don't know what half this crap does anymore. If eating fresh fruit keeps the people healthy and strong, we Tropicans must eat twice as much to be twice as healthy and twice as strong. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. For your I got a feeling like I'm pretty far ahead, Jeremy. Yep. I see a dead man zone right now. His Majesty finds your island's backwardness most amusing, he is now worried that it will hinder his great... Gotta get that sickle ready for some communism. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this Great news! While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a sickle! Now we have something that goes perfectly with our hammers. 
This will boost production. Life step forward for communism. I can almost see. The Yay for communism. Yay. I'm going <laughs> to research Jeremy so quickly. What is that? I give my life if need be. I really hope that's mine. Oh, for good it is. Did you know that there are treasures buried on our island? We should investigate. Our research team, that is to say me, discovered the shovel 40 times. If I find out who put it there, I will kill him. Anyway, I gave it to the miners so they can put it somewhere safe. Like, underground. Thanks to your efforts, the revolutionary movement is growing stronger. I can double see the labor of or something. He has come to steal your treasures. Help, I don't know how to defend. Help. His Majesty personally inspected several reports from your colony and discovered a major oversight in your design. I don't know how to upgrade plantations. Oh, here we go. You fight like Woozy. Come on, kill those pirates. Up, oh, Jeremy gets attacked by pirates. War. War I'm dead over here. I'm getting some bombers. I don't know how to get llamas. I'm gonna figure out how to get llamas before you incorporate the global llama market. Another victory for communism. Yay! Communism! understand you've begun mining operations, my good chum. I am sure your island holds even more hidden riches. Freedom will never simply be given to us. We must take it by force. We need to train our own soldiers. Soldiers that...